Hola artistas, this is Miss Paulis, and welcome back to my virtual art room. Did you know that the world needs your voice? Si, la tuya. Artists often say something important with their art and their words. For this project, we will all get to say something. Con nuestras palabras, acciones y creatividad. Vámonos. Let's learn more. Today, we will say something important with our art and words. Hoy diremos algo importante con nuestro arte y nuestras palabras. Let's begin by reading the story, Say Something, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Press pause as we read along together. Wow, what a wonderful story. Maravillosa. Ahora es tu turno. The world needs your voice. Sí, la tuya. Adelante. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. Let's take a look at how artists can say something with their art and words. These are all posters created by different artists for Amplifier.org. Amplifier is a nonprofit design lab that builds art to amplify the most important movements of our times. Mira, todos estos artistas pueden decir con su arte y sus palabras. ¿Qué quieres decir con tu arte? To help us figure out what we want to say, let's begin by asking ourselves a few questions. What would you like to see change in the world? ¿Qué te gustaría ver cambiar en el mundo? How can your voice change the world? ¿Cómo puede tu voz cambiar el mundo? What is your message for others? ¿Cuál es tu mensaje para los demás? Why is it important to use your voice? ¿Por qué es importante usar tu voz? How can we inspire others with our voice? ¿Cómo podemos inspirar a los demás con nuestra voz? And finally, how can you use your voice to create a more just society? ¿Cómo puedes usar tu voz para crear una sociedad más justa? Recuerda, just like in the story, if you ever see an injustice, you can say something peacefully. Inspira a otros a hacer lo mismo. Your voice has power. Your voice can change the world. Tu voz puede cambiar el mundo. ¿Está listo? Let's get ready to say something. For this four-part project, you will say something with your art and words by creating a digital self-portrait, como mi ejemplo aquí. You will be expressing your feelings about a cause that's important to you. To help us prepare to create our artwork, we will begin by brainstorming and planning out our ideas in our sketchbook. Start by thinking. What's important to you? ¿Qué es lo que te importa más? What do you care about? What do you want to see change in the world? So go ahead and think about all of the things that are important to you. Write and draw your thoughts down in your sketchbook. Recuerda, this does not need to be final. You can always change your mind later. The more ideas, the better. Usaremos estas ideas durante la próxima clase. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning why your voice matters. By using our voice to say what's important to us, we can begin to create a positive change in the world. Para la próxima clase, be sure to bring your sketchbook as we begin to create a digital self-portrait to help us say something with our art and our words. Recuerda, tu voz es importante. Until next time, adios artistas. Hola artistas, this is Miss Paulis y bienvenidos. Last class we talked about how the world needs your voice. Si, sí, la tuya. We are all unique y todos tenemos algo importante que decir. 
Today, we will begin drawing a digital self-portrait to help us say something with our art and our words. Vamanos, let's learn more. Today, we will draw a digital self-portrait. Hoy, dibujaremos un autorretrato digital. Pero antes de empezar, what is a self-portrait? ¿Qué es? Well, a self-portrait is a picture you draw or paint of yourself. In order to help us find the courage to say something, we first must look deep inside and learn to love and appreciate ourselves as we are. To help us, let's watch this short film titled The Reflection in Me, written by Mark Colagiovanni and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Press pause as we watch along together. Wow, what a wonderful story. It's a great reminder of how perfectamente perfecto you are. Recuerda that you are an important part of this world, and you have something important to say. So let's take another look at how artists can use their art and their words to say something. ¿Qué puedes decir con su arte y palabras? How do you want to draw your self-portrait to share your message? Know that your self-portrait can look however you want it to. You can find more images and posters at amplifier.org. Here's a guide to help you draw your self-portrait. You can be looking forward or turn to the side. This perspective is called a profile. You can use a website such as Klecky or Pixlr to create your digital self-portrait. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Pixlr E. Begin by going on to pixlr.com and clicking on Advanced Pixlr E. On the left sidebar, press Create New. Make sure that Full HD is selected and give your file a name. I'm going to call mine Say Something. Then press Create. Now you have a blank canvas to create your digital art. Let's use the fill tool to paint our background. Click on the circle to pick your color. Move the bar up and down to change the hue and select the value of your color. Once you have the color you want, press OK. Now simply click on the checkered screen and you have your background. Think of this as a digital collage where we want the bottom layer to be the background. So we need to add a new empty layer on top. On the right side under layers, click on the plus sign, then select empty. This will create a new blank layer on top of our background to draw our self portraits. To begin, click on the draw tool, which looks like a paintbrush. From here at the top, you can change the softness of your brush and also the size. There are also preset brush sizes and shapes that you can choose from. I'm going to use the 30 pixel preset round brush. Select and change your color on the bottom left. Choose what color you want for your skin. It could be realistic or imaginary. To find shades of brown, you're going to want to drag the bar between orange and red. In the square, choose the value you want selected and then press OK. Now you can begin to draw your self-portrait. I suggest starting your drawing with your head. I'm going to draw my self-portrait in a profile view by drawing an egg-shaped oval on the right side. Next, I'm gonna draw my neck, mi cuello, followed by my nose or nariz. Hmm, my nose looks a little low. I wanna to try to draw it again. So I can go up to edit and click undo and redraw my nose. Since we're drawing digitally, instead of erasing the lines, we're going to use the fill tool. Click inside and this will fill the space in between your shapes. Make sure your lines connect for this to work. If you see any background color showing through, use the draw tool to fill it in. To make my forehead come out a little bit more, I want to use a bigger brush. You can change the size and shape of your brush anytime you want. I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush to make my forehead larger. In addition to drawing, you can also erase. Just like the drawing tool, you can change the softness and size of your eraser. Now we're ready to add some facial features. 
click on the draw tool to begin. You'll notice that we need to pick a new color. The easiest way to do this is by clicking the arrows to switch the colors. Instead of black, I can choose a dark brown for my eyes. You can choose your own eye color for your self-portrait. I'm gonna start off by drawing a small circle for my pupil. In order to draw the outline of my eye, I'm gonna to need to pick a smaller brush size. Parece a un triangulo pequeño. I can now use the fill tool to paint it white. Ahora podemos dibujar las cejas. I will need to select a new color for my eyebrows and also make the brush size a little bit larger. Ahora dibujaremos la boca. I can use the eraser tool to make it look like my mouth is open. Now I look like I'm ready to say something. Don't forget to add some color to your lips. Remember that you can always select undo. And you can switch between your lip and skin color. Now we can draw your ear, tu oreja. Let's select a color similar to our skin, but slightly darker in value. Ahora es el tiempo para dibujar el pelo. Choose a color and brush to draw with. In addition to the color, think about the length, texture, and style of your hair. You can add texture to your hair by using more than one color. Depending on your hair, you can use straight, wavy, or curly lines. You can change the shape and size of the brush to help you. Don't forget to add other details to your self-portrait, such as clothes as well. You can use the picker tool to actually select a color you've already used in your picture. Now I can go back and add or edit details. In addition to the drawing tool, you can also use the shape tool. Select the shape you want to draw with at the top and then click and drag over where you want it to go in your picture. Notice that the default is to have the shape filled with color. Since I want to draw glasses and want to have the inside empty, I'm going to deselect fill. Now I can use the shape tool to draw my glasses. If I want to make them a little bit thicker, I can increase the stroke number. I can use a line in the shape tool as well. Now let's see how we can add some highlights and shadows. You can do this by changing the opacity of a color. When you lower the opacity, it makes the color more transparent, meaning that you can see through it a little bit. I lowered my opacity to 17% to add these highlights and shadows. Keep in mind that you don't need to finish your self-portrait today, so if you don't get through all these steps, that's okay. At the end of class, be sure to save your progress so you can continue working next time. To do this, first click on File, then click on Save. Here you can change your file name. Make sure JPG is selected as the file type. Increase the quality to 100%. And finally, press download. Now it's your turn. First, use Pixlr E to draw your digital self-portrait. Then, save your image as a JPG file. And finally, post your progress to share with others. Recuerda que parte de este proyecto es decir algo con tu arte y palabras. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning why your voice matters. And I can't wait to see your self-portrait progress. Recuerda, we are all unique y todos tenemos algo importante que decir. Para la próxima clase, we will finish our self-portraits and use our voice to add an important message to our art. Remember, tu voz es importante. Until next time, adios artistas. Hola artistas, this is Miss Paulice y bienvenidos. We've been talking about how the world 
needs your voice. Si, sí, la tuya. Last class, we talked about how in order for us to find the courage to say something, we first must love and appreciate ourselves as we are. Today, we will finish our self-portraits by adding an important message to our work. Todos tenemos algo importante que decir. Vámonos, let's learn more. Today, we will say something that is important to us. Hoy, diremos algo que es importante para nosotros. We began this project by reading Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. ¿Te acuerdas that the world needs your voice? Sí, la tuya. Adelante. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. To help us figure out what we want to say, let's begin by asking ourselves a few questions. What would you like to see change in the world? How can your voice change the world? What is your message for others? Why is it important to use your voice? How can we inspire others with our voice? And how can you use your voice to create a more just society? Remember, if you ever see an injustice, you can say something peacefully. Y inspira a otros a hacer lo mismo. Your voice can change the world. Let's take another look at how artists can say something with their art and their words. What messages do you see? ¿Qué crees estos artistas quieren cambiar en el mundo? How do these images inspire others? You can find more examples at amplifier.org. Si está listo con su idea, I'm going to show you how you can add your message to your self-portrait. To begin, go to pixlr.com and click on Advanced Pixlr E. If you're using the same computer as last time, you should be able to see your image from last week. If not, you can click on Open Image. You should be able to find your work in your download section. Select and open your image. If you open your image directly from Pixlr, you'll see that you still have your two separate layers on the right side. If you'd like to continue working on your self-portrait, make sure that it's selected and add your final details. Use the color picker to choose your hue and value. Remember that when you use your draw tool that you can change the size, softness, and shape of your brush. I'm going to add some final accessories. Before adding our message, I want to finish my background. So I'm going to select that bottom layer. I can change the color that I want to add a pattern to my background. I can also change the shape and size of my brush. Remember, this is your artwork, so your background can look however you want. In addition to this pattern, I want to add a word bubble. I can use both the shape tool and the draw tool to help me. When you're done with your art, it's time to add your words. Click on the text tool to begin. Then click on your picture and press add. This will add a new text layer on top of your self-portrait and background layers. Type your message here. Highlight your text and change the color at the top. You can click and drag your text to move it. You can also adjust the width and alignment as well. You can also change the size and font of your text. You don't need to finish today, but at the end of class, be sure to save your progress. Go to File, Save, make sure the file type is a JPG, and increase the quality to 100% and press Download. Now it's your turn. Say something by adding words to your digital art. Be sure to express your feelings about a cause that's important to you. At the end of class, be sure to save your progress as a JPG file. Then, post it onto our site to share with others. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning why your voice matters. No puedo esperar a ver qué mensaje importante tienes que compartir con nosotros. Para la próxima clase, we will finalize and share our important message. We'll also learn how our actions can affect change. Recuerda, 
tu voz es importante. Until next time, adiós artistas. Hola artistas, this is Miss Paulis y bienvenidos. We've been talking about how the world needs your voice. Sí, la tuya. Did you know that there are kids just like you who've used their voice and actions to make a positive change in the world? Today, we will learn about a few of these young activists as we begin to finalize and share our important message with the world. Vámonos. Let's learn more. Today, we will share and discuss our important message. Hoy, compartiremos y discutiremos nuestro mensaje importante. In addition to creating change with our art and words, we can also create change through our actions. Let's learn more by reading the story, I Am One, A Book of Action, written by Susan Verde and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Press pause as we read along together. Wow, what a wonderful story. Did you know that there are kids just like you who've used their voice to speak up for what they believe in? Their words and actions have changed the world. Let's learn about a few of these young activists. Greta Thunberg uses her voice to try to save the environment. She organized a protest where millions of children all over the world use their voice to ask the government to take action on climate change and protect the planet. ¿Qué acciones puedes tomar para ayudar al planeta? When Ashan Johnson found out that the city of Chicago was closing a lot of schools, he used his voice to speak out and fight to make sure that his school wasn't closed. ¿Qué dirías para salvar tu escuela? Sophie Cruz was born in the United States, but her parents are undocumented immigrants from Mexico. She used her voice to ask for the continuation of the DAPA, Deferred Action for Parents of Americans, program, which would allow her parents to remain in the United States legally. ¿Qué harías para mantener a tu familia juntos? These students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School use their voices to organize the March for Our Lives movement. Their goal is to create a safe and compassionate nation for all of us, free of gun violence. ¿Qué podría decir para mantener a los demás seguros? The drinking water in Mari Kopani's city of Flint, Michigan got dirty and was no longer healthy to drink. When the government wouldn't fix it, she used her voice to bring attention to the problem. ¿Qué harías si no tuvieras agua? Malala Yousafzai lived in Pakistan where girls were not allowed to go to school. When she was 10 years old, she started using her voice to demand that girls be allowed to go to school. ¿Qué dirías si a las niñas no se les permitiera ir a la escuela? Wow, all of these kids use their voice to speak up for what they believe in. And their actions have created a positive change in the world. What will you say and do to make a change? How will you express a meaningful message in your self-portrait? Let's take one last look at how these artists use their art and words to say something. Notice how each image is unique. Your final work can look and say what you want it to. Don't be afraid to embrace your creativity. You can find more examples at amplifier.org. Use Pixlr E to finish your self-portrait. You can watch my previous tutorial videos if you need a review. So go ahead and get started. Begin by completing your digital work of art. Use your art and words to express your feelings about a cause that's important to you. Think about what images other than your self-portrait you can include. What additional details can you incorporate to make your message more clear? Once you're finished with your art, save your work as a JPG file. Finally, post your work online where we will share it with others. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how kids just like you have been able to make a positive change in the world con su voz y acciones. I can't wait to see what you say and do to make a positive change in the world. Recuerda, tu voz es importante. Until next time, adios artistas.